in this new video tutorial we'll uh, talk about uh, a very important topic uh, in uh, the area of experimental design and it is uh, the multi-criteria decision making uh, this is uh, particularly important because in many cases we need to uh, take a decision on our process conditions for, exa for example uh, based on the uh, multiple responses that we obtain from an experimental design so first of all uh, we can start uh, from uh, our case study our example and uh, we have uh, this uh, chemical transformation that from uh, two components a and b uh, give the desired product and two unknown impurities uh, to uh, study this uh, system, this transformation, uh, we performed a central composite design using three variables, solvent, temperature and base, each one set at three different levels, minus one, zero and plus one. Uh, the models uh, for the different uh, responses that are uh, product and the two impurities um, are, uh, the, the models are uh, described here and uh, we have models with uh, uh, 10 different coefficients we already imported in CAT uh, this uh, matrix uh, that uh, is a CCD2 and uh, that is uh, composed of uh, three uh, first columns uh, that are uh, the columns of the variables and uh, uh, four uh, columns that uh, are the responses in particular conversion uh, percentage of product and percentages of unknown impurity 1 and unknown impurity 2 the 17 rows correspond to the uh, performed experiments uh, we already uh, performed the model computation for all uh, the different responses and in particular for conversion and unknown impurity too we obtain this uh, kind of uh, situation so we here we have the response phases for the, uh, the response conversion and unknown impurity too uh, talking about uh, conversion uh, we here we see that uh, for temperature and base uh, we have this kind of uh, trend and uh, it is clear that if we want to maximize conversion that is of course our situation uh, we should work in this area so uh, at high temperature and high base but uh, um, if we uh, look at the response phase for unknown impurity 2 uh, and of course in this case we want to minimize the formation of the impurity uh, it is clear that uh, uh, if we work in this area high temperature and base we obtain a high percentage of the impurity um, in this case uh, uh, it could be uh, not so difficult to take a decision based on the only two responses uh, because uh, for example if we had to uh, select uh, the final process conditions uh, probably uh, we could accept to have uh, maybe a 95 percent conversion uh, and we should work at this central area uh, and probably accepting to have uh, a 2 2.5 percent of the impurity uh, it is clear that uh, this is based on our knowledge uh, of the of the process and of the system and we should know uh, what is the maximum level of impurity that is acceptable and uh, can be purged downstream in the process and uh, um, also the minimum uh, percentage of conversion that is uh, uh, acceptable uh, essentially from the uh, economic from the cost point of view for the process but uh, uh, if we have uh, more than two responses uh, the decision the selection could be uh, not so easy not so straightforward so uh, we'll see now how to uh, uh, to face this kind of uh, problem and take this kind of decision mm, first of all we need to um, predict the responses 
the four responses that we have um, in uh, all uh, the uh, experimental field, the experimental area that we uh, selected. So um, we'll uh, essentially we'll generate a grid of uh, uh, candidate points and uh, we'll perform a prediction of the different responses in all these points. So we go in CAT and we um, use the grid generation function that we find in MLRDO etap. Grid generation, we have to select the number of variables that in this case is three, uh, solvent temperature and base, as we know. Uh, we give OK. Uh, we now have to input uh, the uh, levels of uh, each variable that we want to uh, consider for the candidate points. The first variable is uh, solvent. Uh, from the models we uh, saw that uh, uh, this variable has not uh, a significant influence on the outcome of the process and so we select to uh, have a single level for this variable and uh, we set it at zero. Uh, this is the temperature. Uh, the range of the temperature is, as we see here, uh, goes from uh, to 35 to 45 degrees. And so in this case we select to have uh, uh, 11 levels that uh, uh, cover all the range uh, with a spacing of 1 degree. So we can uh, write here the different levels uh, separated by comma. Uh, 40 is the central point. Sorry. Okay. Mm, in this case, we use the uh, the values uh, of the temperature. Then we'll see how to transform this uh, into uh, levels to be used for the experimental design, for the model computation and the candidate points for the predictions. The levels are for the base. Here, the range goes from uh, 1.0 to 1.6 and so we uh, decide to have a spacing of 0.1 so uh, the lowest level is 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 is the center point okay so we have uh, seven levels and we expect uh, to uh, generate 77 uh, lines, 77 possible combinations. The mm, software already calculated and uh, uh, composed this matrix that is called CP candidate points. We can see this matrix and uh, as you can see we have all the combinations with the first uh, variable always at zero level and the others at the levels that we selected.